Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Hai Sam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Uh, in order to complete our session regarding the air conditioning system, uh, in the last session I already described some basic knowledge regarding the Airbus A320 air conditioning system or chapter 21. And now in this session, I will try to explain more the basics regarding air conditioning system. Okay, so we already described before that the purpose of the air conditioning bags is to reduce the temperature of the bleed air or uh, air coming from the bleed into the bags to have more basic temperature regulation and optimize temperature regulation and allow the air into the cabin in a uh, temperature good for the passenger and for the crew okay so the basic for air conditioning system is the air conditioning bags and the bag do basic temperature regulation so we already discussed that the bags air conditioning bags uh, contain heat exchanger and the air cycle machine the basic component of the back is an air cycle machine or cold air unit, cold air unit. So let's start our session by two questions to allow you to recall the air conditioning bags. The first one, state two other names given to heat exchangers. Inside the air conditioning back, we have heat exchangers. Probably you hear before that inside the air conditioning back, there is a primary heat exchanger and there is a secondary heat exchanger. Primary and secondary heat exchanger. So, do you know any other name given to heat exchanger? Yes, heat exchanger probably may be called the pre-cooler or intercooler. Or primary heat exchanger or secondary heat exchanger. Primary cooler or secondary cooler. Heat exchanger is an air-to-air -air heat exchanger air to air heat exchanger that use ram air to cool down air coming from the bleed system probably in the heat exchanger we use ram air outside ram air to cool down air coming from the bleed system okay again uh, or uh, let's go to the second question state the purpose of a heat exchanger in an air conditioning system state the purpose of a heat exchanger in an air conditioning system uh, you can say that the purpose of a heat exchanger is uh, air to air heat exchanger we use ram air to cool down bleed air and the heat exchanger is uh, composed main components of the air conditioning bags we need to cool down air coming from the bleed and also this air going to a cold air unit or an air cycle machine to be expand in a turbine and to allow the temperature to go down okay so let's have the answer of this question if we can say that what other name for the heat exchanger you can say we have primary heat exchanger and the secondary heat exchanger. Primary and secondary heat exchanger. They are called the pre-cooler or intercooler. Pre-cooler, probably the air coming from the bleed system cool down in the pre-cooler or primary heat exchanger. Then going to the compressor of the air cycle machine and the compressor need to pressurize the air more and then we need to cool down the air again so before the air going to the turbine and expand in the turbine it will go through an intercooler or a secondary heat exchanger secondary heat exchanger so this is the answer of what other name for heat exchanger they are they are an air to air heat exchanger okay we use ram air to cool down the air of the bleed system okay what is the function of the heat exchanger in an air cycle machine or in, a, in the backs, in the air conditioning backs? What is the function of the uh, heat exchanger in the air conditioning backs? As you can see here, the heat exchanger is one of the basic principles of air conditioning. 
If you ever been asked what is the principle of air conditioning, you can say air cycle machine or the basic component of the back is an air cycle machine and the heat exchanger. Main component of the air conditioning backs is the heat exchanger. That is of surface heat exchange. Surface heat exchange. In the heat exchanger, ram air used to cool down hot bleed air from the engine. The purpose of heat exchanger is to cool the charge air. Charge air is the hot bleed air, hot air coming from the bleed system. It's called char charge air. So the purpose of the heat exchanger is to cool the charge air, hot air, as it passes through the air cycle machine to a level that is acceptable for the comfort of the crew and the passenger. We have hot bleed air coming from the bleed system of the aircraft engine or ABU. Almost the temperature may be like 150 degree or 200 degree centigrade. But after the air conditioning back, this temperature can go down to the range of 20s or 25 or 18 degree because the backs, air conditioning backs, are operating at the basic temperature regulation. Basic temperature regulation according to pilot selection. The pilot can select the temperature needed in the aircraft zone to like maybe in a range of 20 degree, 22 degree, 25 degree. Okay. So the back will operate at the basic temperature needed, which is like the lowest selection. For, for example, if we have many zone in the cabin, like cockpit forward cabin or after cabin, the pilot select like 18 degree, 22 degree or 25 degree. So the lowest temperature is 18. So probably the back will operate to produce a temperature in the range of 18. Then after that, in the air conditioning system, we have what it called the hot air system that will add hot air to the air coming from the back to increase the temperature from 18 to 22 and from 18 to 25, for example, to satisfy the need of the other uh, section in the aircraft, in the aircraft. Okay, everybody. So again, the function of the heat exchanger, it cover one of the basic principle of air conditioning. One of the basic component of an air conditioning bag is the heat exchanger. That of surface heat exchange, heat exchanger use the principle of air to air heat exchanger or surface heat exchange. Its purpose is to cool the charge air or hot air. Charge air is the air coming from the bleed as it passes through the air cycle machine. Air cycle machine is one of the main components of the turbo compressor air conditioning bags, air cycle machine to a level that is acceptable for the comfort of the crew and for the passenger and for the passenger okay everybody so let's have the definition or some knowledge regarding heat exchangers in the air cycle machine heat exchangers in the air cycle machine okay these are the component within an air conditioning system or air conditioning bags heat exchanger there are primary heat exchanger and secondary heat exchanger probably they are main component of the air conditioning bag or air conditioning system that transfer heat from one gas to another. The charge gas or charge uh, air is the bleed air coming from the engine compressor or bleed system or coming from the ABU. Okay, and the cool air or cool air medium is the ram air, outside air. Okay, so again, the heat exchanger are the component within an air conditioning system or bag that transfer heat from one gas to another. Ram air is the cooling medium. Probably in the air conditioning bag, ram air is the cooling medium. And is produced as the aircraft moves through the air. We have in front of the back a ram air inlet door and aft of the back a ram air outlet door. They will be open when the back operate and when the aircraft is in flight and allow ram air to go into the back and the bus through the heat exchanger, primary and secondary. So we use ram air to cool down the charge air of the bleed system. So again, ram air is the cooling medium and is produced as the aircraft moves through the air. 
The heat exchanger can be described as primary and secondary or pre-cooler or intercooler. The heat exchanger can be described as a pre-cooler or primary heat exchanger, an intercooler or secondary heat exchanger, an intercooler or secondary heat exchanger. Perhaps it's a best to look at both types in a typical air conditioning system or air conditioning bags. We will see in the next figure on the next page that will show us the main component of the back. As you can see here, this is the charge air or hot bleed air coming from the pneumatic system or bleed system going through a primary heat exchanger. The primary heat exchanger use ram air, this ram air inlet, and this ram air inlet door in front of the back. So ram air will cool down hot bleed air or charge air in the primary heat exchanger. Okay, and this ram air will go out from ram air outlet flap through ram air outlet flap or ram air outlet door. There is a primary heat exchanger. Then the air, charge air, will go through the air cycle machine or cold air unit, cold air cycle machine or cold air unit. This cold air unit probably will be of a type of a turbo compressor air cycle machine. Turbo compressor air cycle machine. The compressor will increase the pressure of the charge air, so the temperature will increase. So we need the air or the charge air again goes through secondary heat exchanger or an intercooler secondary heat exchanger and then the charge air will expand in the turbine to a level acceptable to the comfort of passenger and flight crew passenger and flight crew okay in the air cycle machine or in the air conditioning bag okay during this process Always water may be collected, so we have a water extractor, water extractor, and this is a water drain line, water drain line, okay. This is a bypass valve, this is a bypass valve to add hot air, maybe we need to add hot air, okay. And as you can see here from this schematic, if you ever been asked what is the main component of the air conditioning bag, you can clearly identify that the main component of the air conditioning back is an air cycle machine or cold air unit and a heat exchanger and a heat exchanger primary and secondary pre-cooler and an intercooler okay the air conditioning backs probably it is a cold and hot usage air conditioning back so Probably for maximum heating, we will open the bypass valve more to add hot air and close the ram air inlet flap door to uh, like a fully closed position or most mostly like a fully closed position. For maximum cooling, we open the ram air inlet door to a maximum position and close the bypass valve to a maximum position okay so the humidity controller or the uh, computer of the air conditioning back probably in the aircraft we have air conditioning system controller or back controller or zone controller so for the back there must be a computer like back controller or air conditioning system controller this back controller ask the back to produce the basic temperature regulation and in order to allow the back to have this required temperature the back flow controller or back controller will control the ram air inlet door ram air inlet door and control the bypass valve and control the bypass valve so as i as i mentioned before okay in front of the back, we have ram air inlet flap or ram air inlet door, which when it is open, it will allow ram air to go inside the backs. And ram air outlet door in the aft of the back to allow ram air to go to outside or to go abroad, aboard, okay? 
So, uh, on ground, probably when the aircraft run on the runway before takeoff, the ram air inlet flap that allow ram air to go inside the back will close to prevent insertion of foreign matter inside the air conditioning back component. When the aircraft run on the runway or take off roll on the runway, the controller or the computer will close the ram air inlet door, ram air inlet door, okay, to prevent insertion of foreign matter and to prevent any part of the air conditioning bags to be broken. And in case that the back will operate on ground, on ground, okay, the aircraft is not move or it is not in flight, so there will be no ram air during flight or during movement of the aircraft during flight. So probably there is a fan will operate, fan will operate to allow or to suck some ram air to cool down the air in the primary and secondary heat exchanger if the back ever need to be operated on ground. To be operated on ground. Okay, everybody. So, this is the schematic typical air cycle cooling system. We see both types of heat exchanger in the schematic, primary and secondary heat exchanger in use in a typical turbo compressor air cycle machine. This type of air conditioning bag is called turbo compressor air cycle machine system or air conditioning bag, air cycle machine or cold air units is a turbo compressor consists of a turbine running a compressor on the same shaft. In the turbo compressor system shown in figure above, the pre-cooler reduces the charge air temperature. The pre-cooler reduces the charge air temperature to an acceptable level before being ducted into the eye of the cold air unit. Cold air unit is the air cycle machine compressor. Okay. This ensures a more efficient operation of the cold air unit by reducing the temperature loads on the unit. The intercooler or secondary heat exchanger reduces the heat generated by the cold air unit compressor, air coming out from the compressor, go again or charge air or bleed air go again through a secondary heat exchanger because the compressor already yes it increases the pressure but it will increase the temperature so we need a secondary heat exchanger to cool down again the charge air or bleed air in the secondary heat exchanger this is the cold air unit or air cycle machine turbo compressor air cycle machine okay everybody so the intercooler again reduces the heat generated by the cold air unit compressor as it compresses the charge air. This intercooler is positioned between the compressor outlet and the turbine inlet of the cold air unit. This is the secondary heat ex exchanger, secondary heat exchanger as you can see, located between the compressor outlet and the turbine inlet. Compressor outlet and the turbine inlet cold air unit or turbo compressor air cycle machine primary heat exchanger pre-cooler secondary heat exchanger intercooler secondary heat exchanger which is an intercooler okay everybody this is the schematic or figure for heat exchanger cross section this is the heat exchanger maybe pre-cooler or intercooler Charge air, okay, is hot bleed air. And cooling air or cooling medium is ram air. Cooling medium is ram air. Thank you always for your good listening, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. This session is a performance support tool. My aim from these sessions is to increase your performance or your awareness regarding aircraft system. So always don't depend on my session for formal training. Always consult your formal manual, like flight crew operating manual, flight crew training manual, aircraft maintenance manual, and, air, uh, and any formal training. So please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this. From Cairo, Egypt, your host was Haysam Ali, and please don't forget to subscribe to my Aviation Nuggets 
to increase your support or sorry to increase your awareness regarding aircraft system thank you have a good day and i will meet you again very soon bye bye